Good evening. J.D. Vance hit hard on Biden economics and southern border policy. Tim Walls counterpunched on reproductive rights, the treatment of immigrants, and gun violence. The only scheduled debate between the candidates for vice president tonight came across as more than just two support players propping up the people at the top. CBS's Caroline Cummings reports. Yeah. It didn't take long for the gloves to come off in the first and only debate between Minnesota Governor Tim Walz and Ohio Senator J.D. Vance. Governor Walz, you blame Donald Trump. Who has been the vice president for the last three and a half years? And the answer is you're running me. Now, the person closest to them, the, to the Donald Trump, said he's unfit for the highest office. That was Senator Vance. Immigration was one of the big issues of the night. We have to stop the bleeding. We have a historic immigration crisis because Kamala Harris started and said that she wanted to undo all of Donald Trump's border policies. Donald Trump had four years. He had four years to do this. And he promised you, America, how easy it would be. I'll build you a big, beautiful wall, and Mexico will pay for it. Less than 2% of that wall got built, and Mexico didn't pay a dime. Walls targeted Vance for his false claim that Haitian immigrants were eating their neighbor's pets in Springfield, Ohio. And the consequences in Springfield were the governor had to send state law enforcement to escort kindergartners to school. Vance objected to how the moderators faced the nation host Margaret Brennan and evening news anchor Nora O'Donnell handled his response. Yeah, Mar 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 Nora, but, but thank you. No, Senator, no, we have no, no, so much to get to. Margaret, thank I, you, I think Nora. it's important See, because... We're going to turn out of the, the debate, economy. Thank Margaret, you. Margaret, the, the, the rules were that the you economy, guys weren't going to fact check. And since you're fact checking me, I think it's important to say what's actually going on. CBS News then cut both candidates' mics. The debate comes as hundreds of thousands of ballots have already been cast as part of early voting, and some voters hope to learn more tonight about the candidates. I'd like to know more about um, what their policies are since I don't really know much about them. There's no rest for the candidates now that their matchup is complete. They'll both head back on the campaign trail tomorrow, hitting more battleground states. Caroline Cummings, CBS News, New York.